with the bleed. I'm at a different degree. If you ain't trying to reach your goals, you can't kick it with me. If you thirsty about some hoes, I give them dick for the free. And have a walk in pigeon toes to the lift when she leaves. What's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Insane Stories, coming at y'all another video, man. As you can see by the title. Now, you guys, listen, from experience, okay? If a, if, look, if a dude, a girl, you know what I'm saying, you talking to, and they mention a child to you, you feel me? Nine times out of ten, if you fucking them, they gonna let you go in that bitch, you know, raw, and they gonna let you, you feel me, go crazy. Depend on, I mean, of course, they gotta like you, too. If y'all talking, y'all about to start some shit, you know what I'm saying, a relationship, you know what I'm saying, some serious shit, whatever. And you going that motherfucker raw? Nine times out of ten, they they they're gonna tell your ass you ain't gotta pull out. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't listen, I know shit from experience, you feel me? And if they mention a the damn child to you, I just look, all I gotta say is just keep your guard up, you feel me? Because listen, it ain't shit pretty. And I was only fucking what, eighteen at the time. I ain't want no damn children. You feel me? Now this girl, she was older than me and shit, you feel me? So she she was probably like twenty two. I was 18, you know, she kept mentioning children to me and shit, but I wasn't getting the hint, you know what I'm saying? So listen, like I said, if somebody mentioned children to y'all nine times out of 10, they want a child, oh, I got baby, especially be like, I got baby fever, you know, baby fever, you know how many females I don't went past my life? Oh, I got baby fever, I got, like, you know, if they let you hit, go crazy, they're gonna let you go in and, and stay in them. They, you ain't gotta pull out, but that's what they want. They be, they be saying, like, Oh, no, I don't want no baby right now. Hey, 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 hey. Dudes, too. Dudes, too. I ain't just saying for females. I'm Dudes, too. They be, nah, I don't want no baby right now, girl. You trip, you know what I'm saying? You know, females be, nah, I don't want no baby right now. Hey, 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 hey. Nine times out of ten, they do. They just, they just really giving you a hint, but they, like, trying to see if you really going to do this. You know what I'm saying? And give them what they want. Just keep your guard up, man. But need to say, man, as y'all can see by the title, man, but before I get to the video, though, you guys, y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button for me, and we're getting straight to this video. All right, this girl I had met, you feel me, over the summertime. I had just got out of high school. I just got out, and I had just met her and shit. But I had met her, like, at, like one of them little, these little corner stores out here, like, by my house and shit. I had met her out there, so she's one of them little, little like, she was, nah, I ain't gonna say call her, like, ghetto ratchet. She was a ghetto, like, ratchet type girl. I don't even like females like that, but her... Like, I actually liked her and shit, and she, you know, she was one of the females, like, she ain't wait on a dude, you know what I'm saying? She had all this, these shits that I liked in a female, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when she missed this baby shit, I'm just like, shit, I want a child too, you feel me? Like, for real, like, I understand what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? But, at the same time, I'm like, I mean, who don't want to be a father or a mother one day, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, she wanted her shit right there, you feel me? I'm like, nah, you feel me? But she ain't mentioned it to me. She ain't, she was like, she wasn't never like, um, are you going to give me a baby? And she, she did actually say that, but she was, I think she talking about like down the road. You feel me? She talking about right now. So I met her at the stove, you feel me? And I was going to the stove. You feel me? I had walked to the stove by my house. It was it's literally like down the street from my house. I walked there and I going to give me like some, like some snacks and shit. You feel me? Because I was like, I was at home and I was playing a game and shit and my friends, it was on the game, and they was, like, eating shit. Like, one of them had, like, some ice cream and some shit. The other one had, like, some chips. Then it was me. I ain't had shit. I'm like, all right, y'all, I'll be back, bro. Like, I'm going to go to the stove. You feel me? I walk to the stove. I see her. I'm like, you feel me? Damn, she pretty as hell. So, she was pretty, like, dark skin, just chunky. Like, man, listen. She was pretty. You feel me? Thing is, she seen me too, you know, she was eyeballing me and shit like that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely finna talk to her. But I had to make sure she was going up there with nobody because somebody see, somebody, like, if she up there with somebody and I'm trying to talk to her, they gonna try to shoot at me and shit because they gonna think, oh, you trying to talk to my girl? Yeah. So I had to make sure there wasn't nobody up there. But it was really empty when nobody really up there, but like me, her, and somebody else. So then, like, I started talking to her. I'm like, you feel me? Wait, you from around? She like, yeah. So she told me where she stayed. I know where she stayed at and shit. Like I said, she was 22 years old. I'm 18, you feel me? So right now, she got to be 26, you feel me? And I'm 22, you feel me? So, like, um, yeah, I stayed there on this way. She stayed on the other side of where I stayed at and shit. So then, like, me and her talking and shit, like, maybe fucking, I think that was, like, the same night me and her was talking. Like, we was texting and shit because I had got her number and then she had left, you feel me? And then uh, she was driving. She had drove and shit, so she had her own car, like I said. She had her own shit, you feel me? 
I mean, she stayed with her mom and shit, but, like, she had a car, you feel me? She had a job, you know, she made her own money and shit, like, the shit I like the most, you feel me, in a, in a woman, like, if you ain't got to rely on a dude, then shit, you my type already, I ain't gonna lie to you. I hate the female that be, oh, can I get this? Can you give me that? You feel me? I don't like that shit. I don't like the one to be like, babe, I need to get my nails done, so you gonna provide? No, bitch, I'm not gonna provide. You feel me? You gonna provide yourself by giving you a nine to five. You feel me? But need to say you guys. So me and her was talking. It was either that night or the next day. We was like, we was talking and we was talking about a child. And she was like, uh, do you want kids? I'm like, yeah, like someday and shit like that. I'm just like I said. I'm thinking like down the road. You feel me? Someday. I'm like, yeah, someday. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, who don't? And then I was like, yeah, I want a girl though. You feel me? Uh, I was like, Chris Brown inspired me to have a girl. You know, I want a girl and shit. His daughter beautiful and shit. And this this dude named Pretty Boy Fredo. If y'all know. If y'all know who that is, like, yeah, his daughter's just beautiful. I'm like, yeah, they they be they babies are just beautiful and shit like that. But she didn't know who Pretty Boy Fredo was. I'm like, yes, but she was like, yeah, I want a son. That's what most girls want though, is sons, like boys and shit. She, she like, yeah, I want a son. Like, oh my god, I got baby fever, so she started sending me shit on my phone, like sending me babies and shit. I'm like, he's so cute. Shit. I'm like, this bitch serious right now. Like, she's serious. You feel me? We were just talking about children so fucking much, you guys. She was like, you know, I'm like, I think you'll be a good dad and shit like that. She was saying that to me and shit. I'm like, I had to think about it. Like, this girl want kids right now. She ain't let me get none probably. We have no, we known each other for like a week. And then she was like, okay, now nah, I'll come over and shit. Cause, you know, I want to get to know you first before we do anything and shit like that. So I knew her a little bit. You feel me? It wasn't get to know each other that much. You feel me? But it was a little bit I had known her for. She was like, is it okay if I come over, you know, tonight? You feel me? I'm like, yeah, shit, I don't care. Like, I ain't gonna be doing it, but pl playing the game with my friends and shit. So, that same night, you feel me? I'm waiting. You feel me? I clean up my room. You feel me? I'm, I spray some smell good up and I make sure everything clean and shit. I'm, yo, you feel me? I'm finna go crazy. It was like 11 o'clock. She came over right that night. I was on the game with my friends and they was like, I was like, I'm about, I'm about to get off the game. You know, because I got a company code. They were like, no, nah, don't get off yet. Don't get off yet. So then I go open the door for her, and I bring it to my room. You feel me? I let her use the bathroom, and I bring it to my room. You feel me? And then um, I was on the game still, and then they heard my, they heard her in the background. And then they was like, hey, Sade, what up, what up, what up? I'm like, stop playing with me for all, you feel me? Smack all y'all ugly ass. Y'all ass ugly as hell, you feel me? So, hey, what up, what up, and shit. I went on the game too long, because I was talking to them. I was still playing the game, and then, like, I just put my head set down and my controller down. I didn't even leave the party. I didn't like do nothing. I didn't like turn the game off. I just put it down and shit. And then me and her just, I put on mute, of course. And then me and her just, you feel me? I'm like, shit. So what's up? You feel me? And then when me and her was talking and shit, we was like laying down. We, I had put my, I had went to like Netflix. I didn't turn my game off. I just like switched over to Netflix and shit. So then like we was watching that shit, but for like 10 minutes and then she started watching us and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you feel me? I put out the rubber. She had told me that she ain't had sex in so long, and I believed her, but she, she ain't give me shit. You feel me? She ain't give me no STD and shit. So, I, I mean, so she was right on that shit. She's like, I swear to God, like, I haven't fucked in some months and shit like that. She was saying, she, I, I believed it because she was tight as hell. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, that shit was tight as hell. That shit was. I need to say, you guys. So then, like, I was like, uh, so what's up? You feel me? So we laying down watching Netflix and shit like that, and we in the bed chilling. You feel me? This is how she tried to trap me right now, and I swear to God, you guys, like, look, if she would have trapped me, I would have been beating her ass every fucking day for nine months. You know what I'm saying? Seven to nine months, I would have been beating her ass. You know what I'm saying? Like all that shit. You feel me? She would be getting her ass beat every fucking day. I would have woke up in the morning beating her ass. What you say? Stop playing with me. What? You feel me? You, you oh you want to go to bed? Yeah, let me put you to sleep real quick. Ugh. Yeah, fuck you, tell me, man. I would have. I'm telling you guys, that shit would have been. I would have been so fucking pissed because I ain't want no damn baby and you just forced me to have a child. But I need to say, you guys, this is how that shit happened. We start, you know, kissing and making out and shit like that. You feel me? All that shit. So then, like, I pull out a condom. I'm like, she's like, no, nah, you really don't need that because I promise I ain't been doing nothing with nobody and shit. And I know that she, I know what it's like to have STD and shit because I had it before. She was honest. She was a real honest person. You feel me? But that's not the reason why I stopped talking to her. I ain't even stopped talking to her after that shit. It, it, she just that she just pulled on me and shit. So I put the condom back in the drawer and shit. 
So I go in. Y'all know Raw Game is my best game. You hear me? <laughs> Raw Game is the best game. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? But need to say, you guys, I slide right in her. I'm like, all right, bet. You feel me? She took off all that shit. I took off all my shit. I'm like, right, let's go crazy. Feel me? So, like I said, you guys, like I said in the other video, I'm giving the slow strokes. All my dudes, turn your head. You can just listen to me, but turn your head. You feel me? Turn this way. I'm giving the slow strokes. You feel me? I'm, I'm Trey Song in that. Uh, you feel me? Nah, 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 nah. You feel me? I'm going crazy. I'm, yeah, all that and that shit. So then, like, I ain't gonna lie. Her pussy was good as hell. I ain't gonna lie. So the shit was going on for probably, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And, like, it usually takes me a while to, you feel me? I ain't gonna say the word, but it usually takes me a while to. But that time, it only took me 15, 20 minutes. So I'm, damn, like, because I haven't fucked in a while too at that time too so i'm like shit fuck so then like after i'm like after i tell him like i'm finna fucking you feel i'm finna fucking come like you feel me like she literally like we missionary right now you guys listen missionary she on her back you feel me i'm like i'm finna come you feel me so then she like take her legs and she put them around me and shit and i'm like i'm about to fucking come and shit she take her legs put them around me um like, I, like, you guys, I fucking went Hulk. I'm not playing with y'all. Like, I went, um, you feel me? Fuck off me. Like, what are you doing, bro? So that shit, like, shot all on her stomach and shit. So then, um, like, after I got settled in after them, because that shit had, you feel me? I'm like, shit, after she settled in, you feel me? I get up. I give her, like, some tissue and shit, and she wipe all that shit off and throw it in the garbage can that I had in my room. I'm like, yo, what was that? Like, what are you doing? Like, the fuck? She was like... I just, I just, I just know that you'll be a good dad and shit and shit, all this shit, and, and I'm sorry that I did that, I feel bad, I think I need to go home, I'm like, nah, you feel me, stay, we can talk, you feel me, I don't want you to leave, but, like, you can't force somebody that's doing this shit, you feel me, this is how I'm sitting, the way I'm sitting right now with, with y'all, this is how I'm sitting, just like this, and she landed a bed still, I'm like, you can't be doing that shit with people, you feel me, that is not the way, baby, I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, you you dripping. So she put the cover over her head because she felt guilty and shit. I'm, so I moved that shit off of I'm like, nah, you good. Just, you feel me? Like, if we, you feel me, we be together for the next past, like, one or two years, then I have a child with you, you know what I'm saying? But right now, shit, I'm just telling her shit because I still ain't want no damn children next. I ain't want no, I don't want no kids until I'm just like 25, 26. I, I ain't like most people, you feel me? I, I want a cat, kid, but... I'm not in the rush for it and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, you feel me? Maybe later on, you feel me? So, the thing real is, you guys, while we stop talking, is because... <sighs> Let me explain this to y'all. She was a little fucking... She was, she, was, she was a little fucking... A little OD, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna... Not like that. She was a little... Like, she wasn't the best of fucking person. Like, she used... So many drugs. She she was a heavy drinker, like smoker and shit like that. I'm talking about weed, cigarettes, black and mouths. You feel me? Drinking everything, beer. Like I'm not, bro. This shit, this shit. Uh, Cause I was like, we was literally like working on like dating and shit. Like I was really trying to make up my girl and shit like that. But she she just drink and smoke too fucking much. You guys, I don't like a female that smoke and drink too much. Like, not so fucking much. Like, I choose a girl that drink over smoking it any fucking day. I hate a female that smoke weed, bro. I just don't like it. Like, nah, man. But that's the reason I stopped talking to you. Because I'm like, nah, fuck it. I just blocked on everything. And I ain't never seen her ever since then. You feel me? So, she tried that shit with me. I'm, you know, I'm giving her slow strokes, like I said, you guys. You feel me? She put her legs around me. I'm, hell no. Nah. I tell all my friends. You know what I'm saying? That I was on the game with. I text everybody. I'm like, bro, this girl just tried to trap me into having a damn child and shit. They talking about some little Juwan Jr. and shit. Like, stop playing me, bro. Like, nah. She just tried to trap me into having a child and shit. Like, bro. Like, nah. See, if I was fucking mean as hell, I would have stopped talking to her ass right there. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, nah, shit. She a good person overall. And the vagina is good and shit. So if you put two and two together... What do you get? You know what I'm saying? 
So I was like, nah, you feel me? But I did start talking to her because she smoked and drank too fucking much for me. I'm nah. She even tried to get me to do it. Like I'm like, look, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I'm not doing that shit. You ask me again, and I'm uppercutting your ass. Now, like I was saying, you guys, I was dead ass when I just said this. If she would, if I, she would get pregnant by me, I'm telling you, I would have been beating her ass every fucking day for nine months, morning to night. You feel me? Every time I seen her, come on, nah, 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 for real, for real, cause you, you, you pregnant, right? You pregnant still, right? Especially if it's not a, if it's not a girl, I'm definitely beating your ass. I'ma look at, I'ma pick that little motherfucker up, like, hey, this wasn't meant to be. You feel me? I'm, look, I'm sorry. You feel me? Your, your, your mother did this shit. You know what I'm saying? You weren't supposed to be here until I was at least 25, 26, little nigga. You feel me? Like, what's like? And then look at you right now, here. Them big ass eyeballs and shit. You a pretty baby and shit, but oh, but look, look, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You weren't supposed to be here until a couple of years from now. You know what I'm saying? But, but I do love you, though. But you know what? I'm gonna have to, I'm, after I put you to sleep, I'm gonna have to beat your mama motherfucking ass again, man, because that's what I feel like doing. I'm gonna beat her ass until you get the fuck up out my house. You feel me? Until you grown as hell, you damn self. You know what I'm saying? But I love you. Put him to sleep. Tell his mom, come here. Mm. Rock her shit. Good night. But you guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I got my own story time to come if you guys. 25, 8, 24, 7, you name it. If you are new to my channel, you like story time, you to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, turn that post notification, hit the comment box. Now, let me know what you guys think of the video. How can I improve in the video? Stay, stay away from this coronavirus shit, man. Look, y'all be safe, man. Sit y'all ass in that fucking house. Like, you, all right. Look, this is how I'm going to say it. If you go outside and you ain't. You only go outside if you gotta work. If you ain't gotta work, don't need to go outside. If you go outside, that means you ugly as shit. And your breasts smell like ass. You know what I'm saying? So, stay y'all ass in the house and shit, man. But, be safe. We got dumb ass out doing dumb shit. It's your boy Insane Stories. And I'm gonna catch you guys later. <laughs>